Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Beautiful Thursday morning here. Still picking up, seeing, picking up, seeing some of those colors of the beautiful sunrise here. It's always amazing. Even though the sunrise is behind me, we still get these beautiful colors out here in the Gulf of Mexico. Absolutely gorgeous. You can see our moon is up there. Not quite a full moon. That little white dot at the top of the screen. Another extremely, extremely flat morning out in the Gulf. Not a soul out here. I see that big great blue heron up the beach again, in the same place it was yesterday morning. When I first came out there, up in area three. Well, our friend Roy is doing great. Thanks for all those cards that people are sending. He really appreciates them. He's been getting some visitors as well at the house. Everyone's invited to stop by and visit. His address is the same address that I post where you can send the cards. He's always open for visitors. He said the more the merrier. Oh, when I came to the park this morning, the red tide signs are not on. They took the little red tide warning sign down from the guard gate from the ranger station at the front entrance. So what does that mean? Does that mean the red tides moved off our beach here at Del Nor Wiggins? Could that be possible? So that's awesome news. That is wonderful news that the red tide has moved away. Wow, there's a kayaker way out there moving along at a pretty good clip. It's pretty far out there in the water. I don't know if I'll be able to get in on him. See that little dot? That little dot in the center of the screen, that's a kayaker way out there. Pretty far offshore. Huh. Some nasty little bugs getting me here. It's pretty calm. We really need these those breezes to keep the bugs away and to keep blowing that red tide away. As soon as that sun pops up, we'll be able to take a look in the water, see what it looks like. But again, the red tide warning signs are not on this morning as you come to the beach. Keeping my fingers crossed. You see our friend Astrid is here, is joining us. Good morning, Astrid.
Astrid's another one of our wonderful friends. She spent some time visiting with Roy. She takes good care of our friend Roy, Astrid does. Great realtor and great person. Look how flat that water is this morning. Just incredible. Where's our dolphin friends? I was hoping to get out here early and catch them on their, maybe their first run down the beach. I, just, I saw that great blue heron just catch a fish up there. We get some beautiful birds down here in Southwest Florida in the winter time. All our migratory species. You can see some great birds, great wildlife here at the beach, but also don't forget about the Everglades. If you have not taken any tours or walked any of the trails through the Everglades, you're missing out and a lot of the wonderful sights here in Florida, in South Florida, Southwest Florida. Take a trip over to Everglades National Park. Another very low tide this morning, very low tide. Where I'm standing right here is about the normal low tide. So it's almost double what it is. Okay, dolphins, where are you at? For, for a couple days there in a row, they were very predictable. Now they've changed their schedule. The park rangers were out early this morning. I can see they've already made their run up the beach. Here's the tracks from their buggy. Oh, I actually see their buggy up on the beach there ahead of me. Whoa, an osprey just dove right in the water and caught a fish. Came right up. Oh man, it happened so fast, I didn't even see it. Just right in the water next to me. Almost hit me. Incredible. That was amazing. Just from out of nowhere, bam, the osprey dove into the water. I don't know if you caught the tail end of it. Oh, there's a lot of fish jumping out there. He just landed up in the tree with his fish down here. Let's see if we can see him. I mean, he just plunged into the water right in front of me. I'm sure you heard it. Let's see if we can see him up in this tree. I'm sure that was the same osprey we saw walking around yesterday on the beach. It's pretty dark here. It's gonna be pretty well camouflaged. Let's see if we catch him eating his breakfast here. Didn't get a good look at where he landed. 
He's not going to be making any noise now. What tree did he go into? It's really hard to spot him when the sun's not out bright. There he is. I just saw his tail moving around. Wow. I don't want to scare him. Where is he? Where is he? I'll find him here. Bear with me. I got to zoom in and search here. Hang on. Where's that osprey at? Back out again. Got to get my bearings here before I zoom in. It's on a little tiny branch sticking up here. It's just starting to eat the fish. There he is up there. See, <clears throat> you can see the fish is still kicking. He almost hit me in the head diving in the water for that fish. So I guess the moral is don't get between an osprey and it's breakfast. The moral of that story. We've seen, let me see, I'm zoom. We've seen these guys a lot out here in the mornings. Coming a common sight. That fish is still kicking. Wow. It's gonna get a little closer. I don't want to startle it. And I don't want it to drop its food either. It's just at a hard angle to hold the camera steady. Oh, darn it. Sorry about that. This camera just will not respond to my, I can't zoom in. It's, uh, hang on, sorry. It just stops. There we go. We'll have to live with that view for now. You see that fish still wiggling around. I was walking along the beach, all of a sudden I heard this kerplunk, this big splash, and it was the osprey just dove right in front of me, right beside me, into the water and got that fish. Absolutely incredible. I was just talking about the birds. I was just talking about all the birds. 
And then there we had that osprey. That was so cool. Well, he's definitely enjoying his breakfast there. Let's take a walk up the beach and see what else we find. That was pretty cool. Maybe we'll get lucky this morning and see a dolphin. This is the time they start making their way down the beach. Sand is so soft here. You just sink down in it. It's kind of hard to walk. You can still see the moon up here. Not quite a full moon. See it up there in the top center of the screen? That little white dot. Oh, I see two people way down at the south end of the beach, down in area one. Other than that, it's just me and the osprey. That was so cool. <clears throat> I wish I had gotten the video of it actually diving into the water. It just happened so fast. Caught me off guard. I actually thought something was falling out of the tree on me. <laughs> well, that big great blue heron that we saw yesterday morning is still up here or up here again, let's say up here again. So he must be living here at the park. One morning I saw three of them out here. I hear another osprey calling. They're coming from behind me somewhere. If you're just tuning in here, the red tide warning signs were off at the entrance to the park this morning. And the sign was down from the ranger station. The sign says red tide present. So that might be some good news. Wow, I hear several ospreys. I just saw one fly by. I wonder if we're getting into the nesting season again, the mating season for our ospreys. Man, they are making a lot of noise. When you come out to the beach, you wanna make sure you check up in all these pine trees. That's where the ospreys sit. They just sit up there looking for fish.
that's where that one was this morning. It was sitting up in the pine tree. It wasn't making any noise. I didn't see it, but all of a sudden it just came flying down and swooped down and grabbed a fish right next to me. Grabbed a fish right out of the water. This low tide is just incredible. Another extra low tide. There's a little snowy egret. Looking for its breakfast. It's breakfast time. Gonna get something. Well, it's good to know that there's some little fish out there. A little snowy egret. Anybody wondering how our friend Roy is doing? He's doing great. He's getting his share of visitors. He's up for anybody that wants to stop by, open to all visitors. He really appreciates those cards too. Thanks for all those wonderful cards. So fun watching the birds out here. That's that great blue heron up there. We'll take a walk up there and get a closer look at it. But it looks like this blue heron has claimed this area here as its turf for the winter time here. I haven't seen any dolphins. I've seen a lot of fish jumping out there. A lot of fish breaking the surface, but no dolphins. you look at the moon here real quick there's almost a full moon up there not quite a full moon that's why our tides are so low because of that moon The 
there's anything out on this sandbar here. That heron is just standing there like a statue. A great blue heron. That's the same one we saw yesterday, I guarantee it. It's in the same spot as yesterday. When I first came out, this is where it started and then it made its way up the beach. That's a great blue heron. Really just getting a silhouette of it now. Beautiful birds, absolutely gorgeous birds. We'll have another look at that, I'm sure, a couple times during our beach walk. Like I said, I think it's found a new home here for the winter. It seems to be hanging out in this same area. This is all normally underwater where I'm at. This is all underwater during normal tides. Oh, scallop, piece of a scallop shell. It broke right in my hand as I picked it up. Wow, very soft. Kind of stinks out here right now just because this this sand here usually doesn't get exposed so it's kind of foul smelling the sun's just coming up over here to the east just getting ready to come up over the trees Got some morning joggers out here. Finally, some people have joined me out on the beach. Very quiet out here. Again, this is all, we can see this kind of seaweed and stuff. This is all normally underwater, even at low tide. We're just having an extreme low tide right now because of the moon. Where's those dolphins? I don't know if the tides affect the dolphins, their swimming patterns. I don't know if they, I mean, 
when we came out over the weekend, we were at low tide and the dolphins were, seemed to be a lot more active. Now we're still a couple hours away from low tide. And every morning when I come out, it seems like they get a little later and later. So it's like the tide, the low tide gets later and later and the dolphins get later and later. I wonder if there's any correlation there. I don't know if that it, actually, if that has anything to do with them. I do know when it, obviously when it's low tide, they can't get in as close to shore. And there's times where we've seen those dolphins come almost right up on the beach chasing fish. It's a little snowy egret out there in the water. Another little snowy egret. We saw one already earlier this morning. Beautiful little white birds. You get little yellow feet. Can't see them now because they're in the water. Is it gonna catch something? I don't think it got anything that time. Close, but no cigar. Again, I'm almost by myself out here. There's a couple people out on the beach. But we're few and far between, that's for sure. During normal tides, normal conditions, that's where I would be walking, up there and shelling, up along there. You can see how low the tide is here, look at this. Amazing. But yet, you know, yesterday I was expecting to find some really great shells during this low tide, but that's not the case. Just all broken clam shells. Lots and lots of old shells. Old broken conch shells. Look at this conch shell, it's turning into stone. How old that is. It's an old Florida fighting conch. This has been buried for a long time. There's quite a few of those out here. comes the sun just peeking up over the trees there look at that 
Wow. There it is. Good morning. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Good morning. Well, if you're just tuning in here, so far it's been a rather quiet morning. We did see an osprey. An osprey almost hit me in the head diving for a fish. It happened so fast. Just dove into the water beside me, catching a fish. So we saw him up in his tree eating the fish. We did see our blue heron again this morning. We're not finding a lot in the way of shells. However, there are. I am seeing a lot of Nice little fighting conchs on them at the beach this morning. Florida fighting conchs. Florida fighting conch shells. Nothing in them. Remember, when you take a shell home, make sure there's no living animal inside. Not When you pick one of these conchs up, there might not be a conch in there, but there could be a hermit crab or some other little critter living in there. I've actually found an octopus in one of these, a little baby octopus. That was kind of neat. If you search through my photos and videos for octopus, you should find a picture of it. There's another conch shell buried in the sand right down here. See that right down here. These are fairly common, these fighting conchs. I would say they are probably the most collected shell in Southwest Florida. One, they're so common, but yet they're so neat. They're so beautiful. These wind up in a lot of suitcases going back up north. I've got some good news also to share with everybody. When I came out to the beach, all the red tide warning signs were gone. So that was interesting. I'm hoping that's the case. I'm hoping the red tide is finally moving offshore here. I know it was moving offshore down to the south of us. So what we need are some good Good strong winds blowing this direction out into the Gulf to keep blowing that red tide away. Just blow it out there as far as it can. We did see that great blue heron again this morning. We'll see that, I'm sure, as I make my way back. It definitely looks like it staked its claim out here on the beach. kind of all by myself out here this morning even though it is a beautiful morning you know, people have to go to work in the morning and they're also still reluctant to come out here because of that red tide I 
I'm so looking forward to getting back to our beautiful, beautiful mornings, our beautiful beach walks with all the birds out here and the fish swimming and the dolphins. Hopefully things are gonna return to normal soon. And even though I'm not out here to promote tourism, I sure love those Chamber of Commerce mornings. They're absolutely beautiful. And it's kind of funny, I know for a fact, I know several people that have moved down here and watching these morning videos was a big deciding factor in their decision to move down here. So that's kind of interesting. Other people send me messages saying that because of where they live, this is the closest they're ever gonna get to a beach. Isn't that amazing? These beach walks bring people to the beach that otherwise would never be there. That is so cool. Look how calm it is out there this morning. Just waiting patiently for a dolphin to come by. We're gonna see another osprey flying around way down there. Just a little tiny speck. Lying back down the beach now. All right, looking for something out in the water. There's a couple little piles of shells down here. Really nothing's jumping out and saying pick me up here. Yeah, well, maybe a little slipper shell. I always like showing the, everybody a slipper shell a couple times during a beach walk. They're kind of interesting. The slipper shells. Nice and smooth on the outside. And you wonder why they call that a slipper shell. A lot of you know why they call that a slipper shell. What's, when I turn it over, oh, this one's broken. Normally that little piece would go all the way across. But it would look it looks like a little slipper when you turn it over. Here's a nice one on the outside. Let me see if I can find another one. They're usually pretty abundant here. But finding a really nice one. A good example. There's another big one. Alright. It almost looks like the other one. Let's see what it looks like when I flip it over. There you go. See how it looks like a little slipper? The slipper shell. And they are fairly common here. You saw it didn't take me long to find another one to show you. Look at there's there's two side by side. Two slippers right there. Oh, somebody just commented on a dolphin. Oh, yeah. Over the last weekend, the past weekend, we saw a lot of dolphins. Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, I believe it was. It was just incredible. Seems like they're getting later and later now. What all is down here? Gosh, now I see slipper shells everywhere. Just piles and piles of slipper shells down here. If I wanted to find one, you know, it would be hard for me to spot them. But now, they're just everywhere I look. Piles of the slipper shells. They're fun little shells to add to your collection, the slippers. You gotta have a little bit of everything in your collection. What do we have down here? Maybe a little cockle shell?
these are a lot of times they're pink inside let's see what this one looks like when i flip it over yeah that one's got some pink in it nice nice color on the inside the cockle shell Ooh, the sun's just hitting the beach here now. Just starting to pop up. All kinds of little beauties out here. Not seeing anything really big shell-wise. Lots of little beautiful shells though. Oh, that big great blue heron is still down behind me. I'm sure we'll get to see it on my way back here. What all's down here in this mess of shells? There's a mossy arc shell. Another common shell, a mossy arc. There's a lot of shells along here. Look at that. There's a little turkey wing. Oh no, that's a mossy arc. That's another, that's a little mossy arc there. Little mossy arc shell. Here's a little tiny baby cockle shell. Look at that. That's a little baby cockle shell right there. Great, nice little shell. Little scallop. Little scallop shell. All kinds of little beauties down here. Little kitten's paw. That's a little kitten's paw shell right there. Kitten paw. Yeah, they come in all these shells. They're all different sizes, colors, types. Look at that beautiful, beautiful colors. You just really got to stop and look when you come across these piles of these little shells. And I guarantee you're going to get rewarded when you do that. There's an old scallop shell. Look at that. It's got barnacles on it. It's so old. Wow. I think I hear a woodpecker in the distance, back in the trees. Anything's possible here. Got all kinds of wildlife at the beach. All different types of birds. This is just an incredible, incredible low tide this morning. There's two dolphins. Oh no, it's ducks. Or anhingas, darn it. It's 
a whole little group of anhingas. Huh. Bunch of anhingas out in the water. I'll show you them if we can get closer. Darn it, I thought we had two dolphins up here. Hoping they come by. Where I'm walking right now is, again, this is normally all underwater. This is normally all underwater. We're just having a very, very low tide because of the moon. Had a full moon the other night. kind of see the seaweed out here and stuff normally the the water is back up to here even at low tide that's our, where our low tide is up right up along there <laughs> so you can see it's incredibly low this morning and still going out A lot of shells here, a lot of broken shells, a lot of rocks. Anybody just tuning in again? The good news is the red tide warning signs were off when I came to the park this morning. The red tide warning signs were off. So that's great news. Dolphins, where are you at this morning? Where are our dolphin friends? This is where I would normally be walking shelling, right up along here. goes uh, the Anhingas. I don't know if you can see them flying out there. They actually, they're birds and they actually swim underwater chasing fish. Pretty amazing. You'll see them in fresh and salt water. The Anhingas. I want to Google them. Interesting, interesting birds. of a scallop pretty big scallop shell at one time there that would have been a pretty nice sized scallop shell there what's left of this one you tell the scallops they have these little wings down on the bottom down here or whatever right down there that's how you tell a scallop shell walking along here keeping my eyes open for something interesting you just never know 
What is gonna wash up on the beach overnight? We've found, found a lot of fun stuff out here in the mornings. Awful quiet though. Not a lot of birds because of the red tide. Hopefully they'll be returning soon. Hopefully that red tide is moving away. There's an old cockle shell. A bigger cockle shell. Did I miss anything along here? Along this ridge. I'm not seeing anything. Wow. There's parts of the beach here I've never seen before. <laughs> Here's part of a murex. Yeah. A lace murex shell. It's been around for a while. It's missing the tip there. That's a murex, a nice little lace murex. You can still get a good idea of what the murex shell looks like. The lace murex. What else might be out here? Not seeing any whelks. No lightning whelks. Usually we find at least bits and pieces of lightning whelks out here. Not really seeing them. There's an old, there's an olive shell. It's missing the, the tip. There's an old olive shell down there. Little olive shell. I don't know why it is. Every time you pick up an olive shell, it's full of little shells. <laughs> kind of weird. It's a piece of an old, another, that was a piece of an apple murex shell there. Just a piece of an apple murex. The stem, inside core. Piece of a little worm shell. Every once in a while you'll find a really nice big worm shell on the beach. There's just a couple pieces here. Couple broken pieces of some worm shells. Absolutely gorgeous today. Back up a little bit here. Check out a little bit higher up on shore here. See if there's anything that I missed. So flat out here. So calm. Just, just hoping a dolphin will come by. A dolphin or two.
something remnants of something over here. Oh, another, another piece of a big, what was once a big apple murex shell. I would have liked to have found that one in one piece. That would have been a great find. That's what's left of an apple murex. Lots and lots of broken shells out here this morning. We're up in area four. As most of you know, that's where Roy and I would have our beat conversations here on the beach, right up under those pine trees there. Hopefully we're gonna be able to do that again. Right now, Roy is under doctor's orders no beach, no driving. Anybody wants to come visit him, he says the more the merrier. Everyone's welcome to stop by Roy's house for a visit. There's a nice little scallop shell. That's a nice one there. Very nice one. Hmm. Nice little pile of shells along here. Something jump out. I'd love to find a moon shell. Love to find a tulip shell is what I'd really love to find, a banded tulip shell. Those are so cool. Love to find a big banded tulip shell. Just not seeing it right now. There's a piece of what was a really big cockle shell. Just, just the edge of a really big cockle. Look at that. That was a nice sized cockle shell at one time before it got broken up probably by the waves. Again, there's another fighting conch. We've seen quite a few. Florida fighting conchs this morning. I've seen lots of them out here on the beach. Lots of Florida fighting conch shells. I am surprised that I haven't come across the murex here. A whole murex shell. Look at that. That's a piece of another murex. Look at the size of that. That would have been a great apple murex. Was that an apple? Yeah, that was an apple murex. It's just a piece of one. That would have been huge. Darn it. All these pieces, you think there'd be some whole ones here. Dagarnet. Dagnabbit. <laughs> I always forget the name of these shells. I always forget what the name of these are. Darn it. They're so cool. Look at it looks like a little screw down there. They're so neat looking, but I always forget what the names of them are. Anybody wants to chime in? Any of you shell enthusiasts? Those are so cool. Definitely a keeper. I'm really 
kind of dilly-dallying here, just keeping my fingers crossed, hoping to find something unique. But it's just not happening. Darn it. It's just broken shells. This is an old piece of an old crown conch. So old it's got green algae growing on it. <laughs> nope. Can't believe how many slipper shells there are on the beach. They are everywhere this morning. I mean, the beach is just loaded with slipper shells. So if you want a pocket full of slipper shells, come on down. These guys, these slipper shells are everywhere this morning. Not, I haven't seen one whelk shell this morning. Not one lightning whelk or pear whelk. Morning. Well, there's a piece of one down there. There's a piece of a whelk. Half of a lightning whelk shell. Darn it. What else? You know, just because I haven't found something doesn't mean it's not here. I mean, it takes a lot of patience. You gotta walk really slow and have good eyes. And a lot of times, some of the really cool shells are kind of buried. You'll just see a little piece of one sticking out. So, you gotta have patience. Good eyesight helps. <laughs> Ooh, this stinks here. This is usually all underwater out here. Really stinky out here. Still no dolphins this morning. Still no dolphins. Darn it. Could it be? Could it be? Did the shell gods hear my plea? Earlier, I said I'd love to find a banded tulip. Well, there's a banded tulip. Now, it's not a big one. I asked the shell gods for a big one. But they brought me a banded tulip. Just sitting out here by itself on the beach. Beautiful shells. The banded tulip shell. It's not perfect, it's missing a little bit of its tip, but I'm gonna keep it. It's a banded tulip nonetheless. <laughs> and it's too funny. Ask and you shall receive. How cool is that? Well now, I want to find a box of hundred dollar bills. Let's see how that works out. Hmm. Anything else down here? I've been seeing quite a few chunks of worm rock. Oh, there's a, another piece of lightning whelk. Kind of busted up. But at least we get to show you a lightning whelk this morning, what a lightning whelk looks like. Pretty much looks like. Beautiful colors on them. I've been seeing 
quite a few pieces of orum rock out here this morning. Where did I see another piece? There's another piece over here. It's kind of interesting, the worm rock, when you look at it close, see all the little worm tubes. Is that a little baby fighting conch down there? Yep, there's a little baby fighting conch shell. I showed you the bigger ones this morning. There's one of the little baby fighting conchs. That's a nice one right there. That's in good shape. A little baby fighting conch. Another piece of a whelk shell. Just finding pieces of whelks this morning. There's another piece of a lightning whelk. Another little conch shell on the beach. Another little baby fighting conch. All right, where's those dolphins? Why are they hiding from us this morning? Here's another one of those shells I picked up earlier. I don't know what the heck it is. Really, really cool looking. Not a scotch bonnet, is it? Very, very cool looking shells. There's an olive shell down here. Nice little olive shell. Well, I'm gonna go up here a little further then turn around and start making my way back. We'll check out that great blue heron if it's still sitting out there. And maybe we'll get lucky and see some dolphins. It was just so flat out there this morning. The water is so calm. Look at that out there. Blue, blue from the sky and calm. Just incredible. Incredibly flat. Is that a little whelk over here? Or just a piece of one? Oh, just a piece of a little baby whelk piece of a little baby lightning whelk. Could it be? Right down there. What does that look like down there? Is that a moon shell down there? What does it look like when I flip it over? <gasps> look at that. That's great. A nice big shark eye. Look at this, this does not really have an eye on it. Usually it has a nice dark eye. That's a moon shell, that's a good size one. Very cool. Just up there waiting for me. That's another shell I said, boy, I hope I find a moon shell this morning. Well, there you go. 
This one's kind of faded. Still cool though. Beautiful shells. All they come in all different colors. They're not all moon shells or shark eyes. They're also gouty or gaudy. I don't know how you pronounce it. Nauticas. Some of them are just absolutely gorgeous. The color patterns on them. Sometimes they look like pearls. I guess having the beach kind of desolate has its advantages when you're shelling. Nobody scoops up the good things. I hope you enjoy these beach walks. I hope you learn a little something. I try to share what I know with our friends here. I don't know much, but what I do know, I try to share and I'm always trying to learn new things. Feel free to comment. If you know anything special about the beach or whatever, make some comments and be sure to let everybody know where you're watching from. That's what this is all about, about making new friends. Nobody pays me to come out here and do this. If anybody wants to make a little contribution or donation, it's always appreciated. Every little bit helps. To those that have sent a little something, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It helps pay the phone bill. Summertime's always slow here, business-wise in Southwest Florida. Just starting to get over the summer doldrums. But if you do want to make a little contribution, you can find my PayPal account info in the description of this post at the conclusion of this live feed. You can watch this whole video in its entirety. It'll be there forever until Facebook goes away. I also upload it to YouTube. You can possibly see it in a little better quality on YouTube. Boy, there are just some nice little piles of shells on the beach this morning. Seen some really cool stuff. I'm not gonna go much further here. It's up to where the beach narrows here, although it is really low tide. My time is running out here. We haven't been up to Wiggins Pass in a while. go up there and take a quick look maybe here I don't know I'm just running short on time here I think Wiggins Pass is gonna have to wait for another day Got some great shells along the beach here this morning. All kinds of neat stuff when I slow down and just take a peek. Look at this, this a nice little scallop. All kinds of little beauties. Hey, if you haven't heard, if you're just tuning in, that old red tide warning I did not see any signs up for the red tide this morning when I came to the beach. The signs were off and down. So, keeping our fingers crossed, the red tide's moving away from us. There's a piece of a pear whelk here. That's a pear whelk, not a lightning whelk. Has the opening on the opposite side of a lightning whelk and it's a lot smoother, a pear whelk. That's a little keeper there. Nice little find, a little pear whelk. That's cool.
Well, I'm going to spin around here. Still no signs of any dolphins out there. Still hoping. Still hoping we'll see one here. A nice little breeze when I walk this way. anything out here on this. This is normally underwater when we're out here too in the morning. Anything get uncovered here? Any neat little shells? This is Area 4 at Del Norwegian's Pass State Park in North Naples, Florida. Just in case you didn't know. <laughs> it's a little cockle shell. Boy, that's a beauty right there. I'm going to rinse this off. That is a nice looking shell. That is a really nice looking shell there. That is a beauty. A cockle. hoping to find something buried out here in the sand. That's how you make a lot of nice finds. The really big, nice shells are often buried in the sand. You might just see a little piece of them sticking up. Again, this is normally all underwater where I'm standing, even at low tide. We just had a full moon a couple nights ago and the tides have just been, our low tides have been just super low. <clears throat> Not spotting anything here. Little clumps of seaweed up here in front of me. Well, this is about where I'd be talking to Roy. I'd be, he'd be up be out here in his beach chair that's his pine trees right there he'd be right out here somewhere in his beach chair waiting for me and we'd have our little 
morning chats. It was like the finale to my beach walks. So looking forward to doing that again. Our good friend Roy. He's doing good though. He's recovering, absolutely amazing for a man of his age, 93 years old, recovering from flesh-eating bacteria. It was horrible there for a while. It was pretty iffy. When he was first diagnosed, there was actually talk that he might actually lose his leg. But fortunately, that didn't happen. Thank goodness. But we have seen a lot. Oh, I've seen. I have seen. I have seen a lot of fighting conks on the beach this morning. Some pretty nice ones too at times. Some nice fighting conch shells. Look at that sky, huh? Just absolutely gorgeous blue sky this morning. Blue sky, flat golf. What did I see out here? What did I see? There's two dolphins. Let's see if we see them out there. I just saw two dolphins pop up. There's one, there's the second one, third, three dolphins out there. I don't know if you can see them. I can't see the screen at all here, sorry. They're pretty far out. Darn it. I think they're going to come right in between us and that boat out there if they pop up. Where'd they go? They're way out. Darn it. Well, I did see them out there, I swear. I don't know where they went. They really weren't coming up very much out of the water. they went. Darn it. Out here in front of me, it's actually the water is kind of dark. Oh, there's another one just came up. Let's see if we see it out here. It's heading to the right. There, there, got to look at one. There might be another one behind it. Yep, there's two out there. They're just slowly moving along out there. Very slowly. Where'd they go? They disappear. Ah. They go down and I don't see them again. Interesting. They're 
pan it. Okay, I see they're out in deeper water, out in that darker, deep blue water out there. They're just moving further and further out. Darn it. Well, I got to see them. I don't know if you guys can see them in the video. Sorry about that. They're really far out there. But they're here. And they were coming from the south, so they must have went down. They must have got up early, swam down to Vanderbilt. <laughs> this water is really shallow now, so it's, I guess they won't be coming in too close. There's a few spots that they can come into shore, but not many at low tide like this, being as low as it is. Absolute paradise out here. Even more so since the red tide is moving away. How long is it going to last this time? When's it going to come back? Ugh, nobody knows. Blue Heron is still down where we saw it earlier this morning. We've only seen a handful of people out here this morning. Very quiet, very peaceful. Seen a few shorebirds. Few wading birds. There's a little snowy egret just kind of taking a little rest here. Let's see if you can see its little yellow feet there. It's kind of in the shade. That's a little snowy egret. Just kind of resting on the beach here. Usually we see them out walking in the water looking for fish. He looks pretty relaxed right there. Checking me out. Beautiful little birds, the little snowy egrets. You got beautiful white plume on the top of their head when they ruffle their feathers. So I can get a shot of it any closer. Yeah, that's about it. There's a shot of its little yellow feet. Looks like little rain boots. <laughs> the little yellow feet of the snowy egret. yellow face there, the yellow eye. Beautiful. Yep, oh, yawning. Gonna walk away. I'm gonna walk out to the water here. Look for some fish. Doing the best I can. It's just an iPhone, folks. Great. Great little look at a little snowy egret. Wow. 
wow. That water is clear along here. Man. Holy smokes. That water has definitely cleared up along here. It was horrible looking last week. Hmm. Wow. Really shallow here too. Beautiful though, beautiful view you had here. Really soft, the sand is really soft out here. Look how high that beach is. Pretty amazing, isn't it? How high up that sand is. See a couple of pelicans sitting out there in the water. Pretty far out though. That's another good sign, pelicans at the beach. There's that little snowy egret. You see it out there in the water? That's right where I was walking around. It's probably checking to see if I stirred anything up out there. See how shallow it is. Hear the birds calling out. Beautiful out here. Boy, that great blue heron that we saw when we first started our beach walk is still up here. Pretty much in the same spot. That is amazing.
we got just a little tiny glimpse of some dolphins this morning. They weren't very active. They weren't going nuts out there in the water. Sometimes they go crazy jumping around. Go take a quick peek at this great blue heron before I sign off. Good news though that I believe the red tide is moving away from us. The signs were off this morning at the entrance to the park, the two big flashing signs, and the sign that hangs on the window at the ranger station at the front entrance, that was down. So I think the red tide is slowly moving offshore. Let's keep our fingers crossed. And there's that great blue heron. Magnificent bird it is. That's standing at least three feet tall out there. At least three feet tall. Look at the water. Nice and clean down here too, beautiful. I'll get you in a little closer here on the heron here. Let me settle down here. That's a great blue heron. Absolutely a magnificent bird. Getting a little closer. Yesterday I was zoomed in on the heron and a dolphin popped up behind it. I didn't even see it. But a lot of viewers caught it. Slowly making its way up the beach. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Hey, I want to thank everybody for watching this morning. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take the time to check out all of my photos and videos here on Facebook. I'm sure you're going to find something you like. Search through my videos. Just put dolphins. You might find some really great dolphin encounters that we've had out here. Remember, I don't get paid to do this. If anybody wants to make a contribution, it is always welcome and greatly appreciated. You can find my PayPal information in the description of this post at the conclusion of this live feed. Check back later for a link to YouTube where you can watch this video in a little higher quality. But again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful Thursday. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.